Bruce Wills is one of the world's most famous and beloved actors. Star of such movies as Die Hard, The Sixth Sense, Armageddon. But recently, all the fans closely monitor his health, while the relatives of the actor do not want data on the state of Bruce Willis. So what is really going on with the Hollywood star? In 2022, Bruce Willis's family announced that the actor was diagnosed with aphasia, a speech impairment that no longer allows him to act in movies and Bruce made the decision to end his career. Eleven months later, after disturbing news that appeared in the media, Willis's wife said that aphasia was only a symptom and Bruce was diagnosed with frontal temporal dementia. Frontal temporal dementia is a pathology of neurodegenerative nature with lesions of the temporal and frontal lobes of the brain. They are responsible for the control of behavior and speech, the ability to plan, organize actions. In some areas of these lobes, neurons are damaged, after which they are replaced by connective tissue. This is usually associated with certain gene mutations. At the moment, the disease is incurable, but early detection and supportive measures help to preserve the quality of life. This pathology is characterized by a change in behavior, as well as personality traits. In addition, it becomes difficult for a person to plan and control actions, monitor emotions. He can become apathetic or impulsive. Increased motor activity is observed. In addition, there are disorders of eating behavior. The ability to sympathize disappears. As for disinhibition, this is manifested by a social behavior. The patient begins to violate the personal boundaries of other people. Excessive touching, too active and close communication with strangers. The patient stops adhering to social norms. For example, he can make jokes about the appearance of others, swear, rude. At the same time, he does not realize his mistakes. Moreover, he is unable to understand why others begin to complain about him. The actor's family decided to talk about his diagnosis in the hope of attracting attention to the disease. According to medical forecasts, which are based primarily on statistics, Willis may live a few more years, but in his family very much doubt it. Bruce's disease is very much progressing. Last March, he celebrated his 68th birthday. And at that time, he was still joking, dancing, and singing the song, Happy Birthday with Everyone. But even then, his gait was unsure, and to keep his balance, he often leaned on the edge of the table or divan. And today, Bruce has difficulty with even simple household tasks. The first signs of the disease became noticeable in 2015, when Willis played on Broadway in a production based on the novel by Stephen King. The actor was forced to use an earpiece with prompts, as he was unable to memorize his text. In 2018, during the filming of Glass, Willis also had difficulty with his lines and often had to be replaced by understudies. In 2022, Willis won the non-negotiable Golden Raspberry Award for Worst Actor, but later, the award organizers apologized and withdrew the award when they learned of his illness. In February 2023, Willis's family decided to publicize his diagnosis and contacted an association that helps people suffering from frontal temporal dementia. The actor's relatives said that they hope for advances in science and medicine that can find a cure for the disease in the future. And they also thanked fans for their support and love for Bruce Willis. The disease has united the entire family. Ex-wife Demi Moore, current Emma, and his five daughters from two marriages. In general, all those whom Bruce used to call his inner circle. Each of them, trying to spend as much time with him as possible. The children do everything to facilitate each new day of their father's life, even if he looks at them as strangers. And his wife Emma is actually with Bruce 24 hours a day and seven days a week. Together with her assistant, she helps her husband to do sports and speech exercises to slow down the development of the disease as much as possible. On New Year's Eve, his daughter Scout Willis posted a touching photo on Instagram where she cuddles up to her father's chest, who is lying in bed and gently strokes her hair. As his second wife Emma says, dementia is hard on both the person diagnosed and their family. Bruce, myself and our daughters are no exception. When they say it's a family disease, it really is.
accepting the diagnosis was unbearable. But I admit that I was relieved when I found out what was really going on with my husband because I had the opportunity to help and support him. Emma didn't just focus on her husband's problems and to keep her mind off things. She left her life to her mandatory workouts and gardening. What helped her finally regain her composure was socializing with others who were facing the same illness. Emma became part of a dementia association. A few years before the end of his career, Bruce and Emma, as if they had a premonition that there would be hard times ahead, so they sold almost all their real estate in the US and beyond, receiving about $65 million for it. After they bought a huge house, and it is there that Bruce now spends all his time. His favorite places in this house is a large kitchen, living room, and office. There is always music playing and a lot of memorable and attractive things for him. For the past year, family members have been gathering at their house often, so Bruce remembers each of them for as long as possible. However, it's been a long time since he recognized his mother Marlene, and then he forgot his ex-wife Demi Moore. In November last year, she spent several weeks in Italy and returned to visit Willis, but he could not say who this woman was, did not remember that he had lived with her for 13 years, and that she was the mother of his three daughters. The actress admitted that for her it was a heavy blow. Willis now remembers only the man he sees every day. Youngest daughter. Tallulah blames herself for not being attentive enough to the first symptoms of her father. Various oddities in his behavior, such as when positive and full of energy, Bruce became passive and indifferent even to children. She thought it was just fatigue and was jealous of her father, believing that his daughters from his second marriage had become closer and more interesting to him. In reality, he was slowly losing interest in what was going on around him because of his illness. But Taluda can be forgiven. At that moment, she herself needed help. Then she was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder, as well as prescribed treatment for anorexia, now Taluda appreciates every meeting with her father, in the memory of the phone she keeps hundreds of joint photos, and on the hard disk, old voice messages. By the way, over the past year, in the support group of Bruce Willis happened replenishment. His eldest daughter became a mom. Bruce's main dream came true. He managed to hold in his arms the only granddaughter. Talking about grandchildren, Willis started three years ago during quarantine. Dad turned to me and said, I would like you to have a son. We need to add male energy to the family, his daughter recalls. The moments when my father hugs my daughter are the most precious ones I will cherish for the rest of my life. I'm so happy I have you, Dad, and Lou, Bruce's daughter said. Now he almost stopped talking, almost does not recognize his loved ones. This was told by the author of the popular series, Moonlight Detective Agency, Glenn Gordon Karen, with whom Bruce became friends while working together and kept a good relationship for many years. I know Bruce is happy that people can see him again, although he couldn't tell me that, Karen stated. He explained that he and Willis had repeatedly discussed the possibility of bringing Moonlight back to the streaming service long ago when he could talk. Alas, he is now deprived of that opportunity. His illness diminishes his ability to communicate. And what literally blows my mind is that anyone who has interacted with Bruce Willis knows that no one had a greater sense of joie de vivre than he did. He loved life and was just happy to wake up every morning to live life to the fullest, Glenn says. He visits Bruce every month and is sure the man still recognizes him, even though he can't put it into words. Few people know, but Die Hard very much liked to read. Alas, a cruel affliction deprived him of this pleasure. He was very eager to read and did not want a lot of people to know about it. And now he no longer reads. All those speech skills are no longer available to him, but he's still Bruce. When you're with him, you know it's Bruce and you're glad he's in front of you. The joy of life is gone from him. His friend doesn't hide his bitterness.